Armor of Loyalty. Immunity to charm person and dominate person. White armor. Automatic plus amulet of natural armor plus one, two, and three. Razor's armor one, two, three, four. Just exit. Uh, we'll have to talk to our companions at some point. now. I'd like to try to get things going a little bit. We can have story times at any point. Sands shop. We do need to sell some of this crap away. No real use for it at the moment. And I uh, want to collect money. Yes. Ah, well met again. And what can I help you with? Can I use your alchemy workbench? Most certainly. Anything for a friend of Duncan's. Just go into the back. It's a little messy back there, and don't touch any of the experiments, especially the Red Beaker. Gloves of the Artificer. Crafting bonuses. Not for us. But spells. Spells, spells, spells. Necklace of Fireballs. I don't think these are particularly good. The big problem with these item types is that the fireball they launch is such a low level fireball. Alchemical equipment. Enchanting equipment. Okay. Spells. Uh, bears endurance. Spear. I, I don't even recall what we have. Basically, it's just buying everything. Disintegrate. Yeah, probably not now. Level 6. Fire burst, level six. No, this is this makes no sense. This is repulse. Based on invisible immobile fields surrounding the caster, any creature within the within or entering the field must attempt to save. If it fails, it becomes unable to move toward the caster of a duration spell. Mm, there's no such spell as this. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that scroll. Later fire burst. That's fourth level. Beep. Mass hold monster, mass hold person. Mirror image. Polar ray, very high level spells. Mass hold monster is ninth level. It's just simply no reason to buy such items at the moment.
Empiric Touch, Weapon of Mana. Okay. That's a lot of crap we got. Strength of the Wizard, though. Variety of tools at your disposal. We still mostly are going to lie, rely on a very predictable and typical set of spells, but sometimes you might want to try different things. Something's odd. Ten thousand? Holy shit. Yeah, something's odd. Okay, Penelope is a gem. Price 160 gold. I need to find another shopkeeper because the prices here seem to be quite a bit uh, higher than I seem to uh, recall. Mm, I want to know if I'm imagining things or are they higher there. There were at least a weapon and armor smith here somewhere. Oh, no. And where are my companions? I not taken with us. Lovely. Master stroke right there. Took me long enough to realize. One hundred sixty gold for a Penelope. That's what sand is paying me. What about worth the armors? Sixty-six gold. Yeah, big drastic difference in the pricing. Sister Ooh, Platelings. We need to keep our eyes open. Sixty-six. Yeah, sand has it's just offering much more for everything. So we want to sell things to him. There's one thing to keep in mind, though. I don't think these merchants have infinite amounts of gold. It's nowhere visible how much they have. The thing is, we want to buy stuff from Sand every moment we can to feed him more gold. That way, we can take advantage of his great prices for longer. Beast of the Legion. These are not bad items. They're not good enough. They're plus one. 
Lesser Rip Tanner. Sonic damage 1d6. Hmm, might be worth buying. Because we could start using. taking Warhammer focus for Kelgar. This is a good Warhammer. Definitely good for a long time. We just need to keep an eye on another Warhammer later on. We can't afford it now, but maybe if we sell our. Okay. We sell our stuff to Sand, then we can definitely afford it. Sandstorm, 33,000. Great Axe, plus 2, not good enough. Has to be plus 3. Preferably plus 4, plus, but plus 3 is good. Good enough. Okay. Going back to Sand. Wonder how much cash does he have? Uh, I also need to make a note of what he's selling. So every time we need those items, we probably want to buy from him. Ah, well met again. And what can I? Some spell scrolls. Well, there are a couple of items, but nothing particularly interesting. I suppose a few gems, crafting ingredients, but mostly just nothing. Uh, we will buy the high level spells, yeah. That'll save us money. I think I'll buy them right now. Fairly expensive. I mean, thousands upon thousands of gold. I probably can't even afford them now. It's fine. We'll afford as much as we can. And definitely sell our crap. Everything that's worth 10,000, we're not gonna sell here. We have 18,000. Might as well buy some potions too. There's some good po potion of heal. Potion of invisibility. That's a restoration. Mm, antidote. Uh, any cure disease potions. Those are very annoying of things to be stuck with. Uh, that will still leave us with 14,000. Armor of loyalty, 9,000. Sell it. 3,600 or amulet of undead turning. Major circles of blasting, 10,000. Ravager plus one, 10,000. Excellent here. Let's get rid of it. Second shard acid and electrical resistance. I don't see why you wouldn't try to sell as much crap here as possible. Fifty-six thousand. Um, it's really not much to buy anymore. Maybe one of missiles. Fifty 
times magic missile. It means I think we are firing like two missiles per use. That's 100 magic missiles we can use. This is not our main way of attacking, but if we want to do damage and we don't want to go into melee or can't or need to do uh, magic damage, this is a good thing to rely on. That'll also mean there's uh, probably a significant amount of gold still left on this shop. I have to switch things around though. Yes. Can't use this. Yes. I'm ready. You use this. I am listening. Yeah. I'll take the lead. Doesn't look good, but it is good. And we need to buy the weapon for Kelgar. This also means we're going to start focusing Kelgar on the Warhammer specific feats on his level ups. It's he's going to get a good hammer. As good as a plus one hammer can pretty much get. And I'm certain later on we can get our hands on a better Warhammer. The ambushes. Wounded bull. Huh. Into rift hammer. Lesser. It looks like a wool. It seems to have some, uh, somehow wandered into town. Its fur is matted with blood. An animal? It's not a wolf. It's a druid. Badly wounded. Kill the wolf. Why? Is there anything you can do to help? I will see. Thank you for allowing me to treat this one. I don't think a druid would have asked questions, or a per rather permission to treat it. The blood is so thick, and barely make out the wounds. Are, are you from the Circle? Circle of the Mare, yes, but this is far from the lands we tend. How did you come to be wounded? It is far from my lands. I am a messenger, for only from the Circle of Swords of Neverwinter Wood, sent to find one of the Circle of the Mare. You were hunting Eleni. I picked up your scent, the scent of Maiden's Glade outside of these city walls, and against my instincts I tried to come and find you. In my animal form, I was wounded by the animal, by the city guards, and left here. I barely had the will to heal my own wounds, or even shift out of this form. Left any longer, and I would be dead now. It is a strange thing. As we come closer to the mare, it becomes more and more difficult to shift from beast to human and back again. Why would you have trouble changing shape? My fear is that it is tied to the land, and if that is true, whatever comes from the mare, it comes for never winter wood as well. It was thought that the circle of the mare would know more of what strikes at us. I had hoped to find Vashni or Naven of the mare, but you are the only one I have been able to find. We found another in the Maiden's Glade, Khalil, and he said, he said that the circle of the mare was lost. But 
you would know if it's true or not. How is it you do not know the fate of your circle? I have been away for some time, and my, and my speaking with the elders, it has been over a year since we were in the same place. As for the troubles in the land, we suspect it may be tied to this one I'm traveling with, and... Again, I don't see the point of holding this a secret, a shard, because our enemies already know that we have this shard, so... Uh, these shards that I'm carrying. Shards? I fail to see how one could have hit the other. I am not one of the elders of our circle. I will keep hunting for others of the mayor, as ordered. Know that the druids of Neverwinter Wood have been forced to retreat slowly from their tended lands. If you would speak to them, travel to the Sky Mirror and use its powers to contact them. Unless something has happened, you should be able to reach them. We will go there when we can. Thank you for saving me, Eleni of the Mare, and the one you travel with. With my wounds tended, I may continue my journey far from the city. Farewell, and travel to the Sky Mirror. Tell the elders of the Circle of Sh Swords what you know. Sky Mirror. 250 experience points. Doesn't seem to be all that many interesting locations here. I'll go and talk to the City Watch. Far I uh, eyes out for anything unusual. Um, we'll also visit the other portions of the city to see what we can uh, get access to. Lieutenant Rowe and Marshal Cormick. There must be someone you can spare, Lieutenant. He's the first to take a stand against these thugs and deserves our protection. You know the number of men I have available to me, Marshal. You also know the efforts I've been uh, taking to weed out turncoats. I can send some watchmen to this shopkeeper, but then we'll have to postpone the sweep through the northern district. I'm sure you'll agree that we want every man available for that operation. The Council hasn't done us any favors with that last vote, have they, Lieutenant? We'll just have to make do with what we've been given. Very well, postpone this sweep, assign some men to the shopkeeper, place the others on pa Well, look at what the wind brought into Neverwinter. It's good to see you again. If I recall, you were promised a reward if you decide to seek me out. I spoke with my captain once I had returned, and she agreed that your services were quite valuable. I'm glad I didn't have to remind you. I'm a man of my word, as is the city watch. In any case, it would be hard to forget what you had to go through back at the port lock. With that taken care of, is there anything else I can help you with? I'm looking for Aldenon the Sage. Aldenon? Yes, I know of him. He's a sage that lives in the Black Lake district. Beautiful place, worth the trip, but we have the entire district locked up tight. You won't be getting in any time soon. Mm hmm. Is there anything you can do to help me? The only way anyone gets in is if they're a member of the City Watch, and Captain Berlena has to personally approve anyone who wants to enter Black Lake. That woman takes her job very seriously. She won't just give you one if you ask. Hmm. There must be a way for me to get in. Well, I can't promise anything, but signing up with the watch may be your best option. If you make enough of an impact, Captain Berliner may even take an interest in you. 
and believe me, you will have plenty of opportunities to show off your abilities. Why is that? The City Watch has lost its grip here on the docks. Criminal gangs are running loose and even some of our own seem to have forgotten the oaths that they took when they joined. It hasn't been just our usual criminal wave, however. These thugs have been well organized. We've heard a name, Moira. We think she's the one running the gang. We also know others have tried to organize their own gangs. The City Watch is outnumbered. We can use every man willing to join our ranks. This will get me in the black light, then count me in. What did I tell you? What did I tell you about this one, Ro? Gets things done with little fuss. Yes, sir. A valuable recruit. The captain will be pleased. Here, you'll need to wear this cloak to mark you as a member of the City Watch. And believe me, your arrival has helped us out immensely. Now, I wish we had the time for you to settle in, but we've got a problem with one of the shopkeepers. His name's Hagen, and he's decided to stand up to the criminals of this district. Get down to his shop and make sure nothing happens to him. My gut tells me Moira's crew isn't through with him yet. Lieutenant, it would seem our problems are solved. The sweep of the North Docks can occur on a schedule. Yes, thank you. I recommend that you make your way to Hagen's as soon as possible. I worry for his safety. Well, at least we have a go to go after. Start doing jobs for the City Watch. I'll visit the other the city district first. I just want to see what's there. See if we can get some extra things to do. According to the map, there's... Thak Thak Benin. Hello, Benin. Kirkofim Safi. Dear John Quidigo, he's liking his arm. I thought this is necessary in any way. No, no reason to take risks, I can rest at any moment. Three injured thugs and a named thug. Coming back to the city was a mistake, Nishka. You didn't think you'd slip in unnoticed, did you? No, I'm just surprised it took you this long to notice. So who's wasting their money on you this time, Benin? We can try to stay out of this. I don't think we should. If you got a problem with her, you got a problem with me. That's right, Benin. You... You think I'd come back without some muscle on my side? Well, you thought wrong, and I'm still waiting for an answer. You're too stupid to come here on your own, so who sent you? Leldon still got a bounty out on you, goat girl. He's even up the price for those horns. Find another bounty. This one won't be easy to collect on. So what'll it be, Benin? Run now, or let me remove that empty head from your neck. Brave talk, girl, but your luck's run out. I'm gonna send you back to the Nine Hells, where your kind belongs. Hey, home is where the heart is. And I'm staying right here in Neverwinter. I will destroy you! <laughs> Looks like Leldon's in for more disappointment. That was fun. That's the spirit. A little battle was all we need to get the blood pumping. Almost wish they lasted a little longer. <laughs> hmm. Fun? Someone wants Nishka dead. Agreed. If this is a slice of life within Neverwinter, we were better off outside than inside. Yeah, but we're still standing and they're not. 
great, isn't it? I wonder how much the bounty is for me now. Why is there a bounty on you at all? I would like to know as well. It seems to happen a great deal, and I find it hard to believe it's all an accident. <laughs> Weldon still can't admit that he's the second best thief in Neverwinter. He's taken things a little too personally, if you ask me. Taken what things personally? Well, Weldon and I pulled a job about a year ago. Big haul, too. You should have been there. I was brilliant. So we get back to our hideout and start to divide up the loot, and that's when old Leldon demands a bigger share. You didn't think he deserved it. I'm the one who got us past the guards and past the trap at the vault. Leldon was just baggage. He claims he planned it all. Not much of a plan if you don't know the guard patrol routes or that the vault is trapped. If it weren't for me, he would have never have gotten past the front door. So why is he trying to kill you? So anyway, there's Leldon demanding a bigger share, and he's definitely planned this part out. He's hired Benin and his boys as muscle to make sure I agree. Well, the odds weren't in my favor. I'm delicate, you know. So Leldon and I argued for a bit, but I wasn't going to win that one, so I got my tail out of there before Benin got antsy. What's worse is they didn't just take my share. They took everything I had. And I wasn't in much of a position to argue, you know? That doesn't sound like the end of the story. Oh, well, I couldn't just let things stand as they were. I mean, I am the best. Melvin's good, and he gets lucky sometimes, but he can't hold a torch to me. So I broke back into his place, stole all the loot, every last copper. And left a note explaining to him how I got past each one of his traps. I didn't get everything they stole back, especially some of the more precious things. But Weldon probably sold them by now anyway. <laughs> Too bad. And still, I got back way more than my share. What happened to all the money? Well, you know, a few coins here, a few coins there. It adds up. I have expenses. And stuff. Well, if they attack you again, I'll do what I can to protect you. Hey, thanks. You know, letting you team up with me was a really good decision. I mean, you actually helped me. And you insult me a lot less than the other people do. Before echoing our leader's pledge, next time it would help if we knew there were people hunting you to begin with. And why, since they seem to have their reasons. Right, right, of course I will. Uh, that's all of it, I swear. Anyway, about this mess. I guess the Watch will clean these bodies up. Or maybe there will be a rain or something. Let's go. Hmm. Influence lost with Eleni, gained with Mishka. For some reason, Nishka's speech there was so very low volume. I don't know why. Still doesn't really matter. What is this? Merchant Quarter. Okay, seems like we lost all our enchantments. Which means we probably rest it. So it reads this uh, travel distance as a major travel uh, instead of just uh, moving from one area to another. One connected area to another. Yeah. Oh look, more thugs. The previous ones weren't that tough. I'm disappointed. I thought you'd be harder to find than this, Nishka. Leldon's been after you for some time now. If I didn't want to be found, you'd still be stumbling around in the dark, Tremel. Tell Leldon to back off, or I'll be coming for him. Again, it's just Nishka's voice that is somehow too low volume.
We've already gone through this before with other attacks, Leldon said. Trimmel, walk away and you'll live. Leldon's not just paying me gold for this. He's also bringing me in as his partner, just as soon as I bring him your horns. You're doing this to become Leldon's partner? Trust me. I'll be doing you a favor, killing you. Last chance, Trimmel. Walk away. You're acting like this is some kind of choice. You're all marked, and I intend to collect. Come on, demon girl. Let's see if you're as hard to kill as they say. One mistake, and you're mine. I don't think this is going to be a much of a fight. Some of them don't even have weapons. Still, they're thieves for the sneak attack. Which I think it's time we paid for Leldon a visit. I guess you're right. As much as I'm enjoying tweaking his nose, Leldon's getting out of hand. I'm not certain Leldon is the one we need to worry about. At least he makes his grievances plain. He'll be ready though. Since he knows I'm here, he's got to know that I'll be coming for him. I don't care what we do, but I'd prefer we do something he's not expecting. I don't plan to kill him. This'll be too much fun to ruin it by killing him. Look, Leldon's not going to give up. Trust me, he was my partner. I know him. He's got a soft spot, though. There's this coin of his that he thinks is lucky. He always has it with him on jobs. Couldn't stop playing with it. <laughs> Real annoying. He's probably got it well protected, too. So I want to steal it out from under his nose. Go on. If theft got you and us in this trouble to begin with, I fail to see how it will solve matters by stealing again. Don't you see? If I can get my hands on that coin, he might give up. After all, without it, his plans will always fail. At least he thinks so. It'd be easier to kill him. Yeah, and I won't be sorry if it comes to that. Still, it's not as entertaining. I'll take every chance I get to tweak his nose, but I'd prefer to rob him. It's got more style. I don't think it's even a plan. It doesn't even make sense. I prove I'm better than he is by getting around his guards and traps. He gets worried, loses his nerves, and the attacks stop. What's not to like? I'll tell you what's not to like. Anyone willing to resort to murder over a theft isn't likely to stop because it's done to them a second time. And furthermore, it has nothing to do with why we're here in the city. Not at all. If we want to do something, we should seek out the druid lore masters in Neverwinter Wood, as I suggested. Oh, so is that your problem? That we're not doing what you want to do? Maybe you haven't thought of this, but maybe there's a reason you haven't come across any druids. Have you thought of that? Maybe they're all gone, or in hiding, or they just gave up their duties, kind of like you have by being in the city. I mean, why are you even here? Huh? Why? Hmm. Good question. I'd like to hear the answer. Very well. You are right, of course. I should not be here. But I do not know where else to go, and the only clues as to what may have happened to my circle may lie with those shards. So yes, I do not wish to be in this city. I do not wish to be a burden, but I do not know what else to do to help. All I can think of is seeking out the druids in case they know what we can do. But I will go along with whatever our leader decides. If we help you, so be it. If not, then I will stand by that decision as well. Well, all right. Maybe I wasn't explaining it well enough. But if we grab that coin from Leldon's stash, well, at least we'll have something to bargain with. He really likes that coin. I'll trust you on this. I'll do it your way. Thanks, and believe me, I know what I'm doing. I've already told you I won't let anything happen to you. Where do we begin? The 
first step is to figure out where Leldon's hold up. I doubt any of my old contacts will want to talk. Looks like Leldon's got some influence in this district. Ophala would know where he is, though. She knows just about everything that goes on here and in Black Lake. Yeah, she might be able to help us. We should go talk to her. Who is Ophala? She owns the Moonstone Mask here in the Merchant Quarter. It used to be a place for people who, um... ...needed some privacy. She's cleaned it up quite a bit since the war, though. I kind of preferred it the way it was, though. But hey, <laughs> it's her business. Anyway, she knows about pretty much anything that goes on in the district. Not surprising, considering the kind of place the Moonstone Mask used to be. I'd prefer to torture the information out of Leldon's thugs. But I guess this way is easier, and not as messy. Hmm. Um, personally, I think Mishka's plan is rubbish. It's just rubbish. Yes. I'll take the lead. That's too long, sword. Not bad. Bad at all. I might even hold on to it for a while. Anywho, what do we have here? We have. Deacon. Uh, no worries, Deacon is not a companion in this game. Moonstone Mask, Temple of Tear, Paps Merchant, and the Park. Mm, the game usually does mark all the points of interest on the map. Not to say that everything of uh, interest is there, but usually. There's no point going to here, for example. If the game hasn't marked anything there, you're not going to be able to do anything there either. Time to finish this. You can. A customer, maybe? Deacon is pleased to see you. Kobold. What in the nine hills is a kobold doing in the streets of Neverwinter? Deacon not mean harm. Please do not kill Deacon. Deacon come here in peace. Seek trade. Deacon say that so many times. Deacon tired of it. Sometimes wish people would just attack Deacon with sticks instead of ass. Deacon not go in the dwarven caves. Deacon also not to blame if dwarves stick everywhere. Then tell everyone else to get out. A Deacon gives Dwarf many sor sorries. He knows how Dwarves get, especially women ones without beards. You're a merchant. Deacon is merchant, yes. Confusing the Deacon, but Deacon figure it's all right to sit here, and people give him gold to take away heavy stuff. Um, but what are you doing here? Deacon is bard, singer with scales, running from danger and fighter of tales. Maybe you read some of Deacon's works. Hard to find sometimes. Deacon have to look very hard to see where books are. Sometimes wipe them in trashy. Do you write books? Yes, Deacon write a few. Not carried so much in Neverwinter, but here they are big and nice with tale. Of course, Deacon think not much to do up there but read. But he not heard so much about Icewind uh, recently. Maybe on last legs. Could have stayed. He can mostly write epic tales, big stories of travel, but not like Volo. Volo is after a quick cover, Deacon thinks. Not an artist with higher calling like Deacon. Um, let's see what you have for sale. I know who Deacon is. I'm not too interested in asking what he's done with his life, I know. I was there. It's nothing particularly interesting. Typical crap. Short bow. Well, there are a few items of interest, but still, uh, mainly meh items. Hmm. 
Yep, nothing particularly interesting. Heading for Eldritch Knight. Mm, yeah, change shirt, 90,000. Only usable by Eldritch Knight. Don't have light armor. Ah, it's a. Uh, it has an arcane spell failure of twenty percent, and arcane spell failure minus twenty percent. So it's a. Uh, it's an armor that's usable by a spellcaster. For ninety thousand. Hmm. 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 Power attack, armor class bonus plus two, and that's pretty much it. Third level bonus spell slot. It's nothing amazing. And we don't have light armor feet. Moonstone huh. mask. Exit from the district. Might as well ask where Leldon is hiding. There was a brothel in Neverwinter Night 1. Tavern slash brothel. Falak. Mishka. Perhaps now was not the best time to return. Leldon is not in the best of moods since your last visit. I know, I know, we've already got Leldon's messages. I'm not surprised. He has a gang of thieves and cutthroats serving him now. He has become much more bold and much more dangerous. Nishka, you must either make amends to Leldon or pay him back what you owe him or... Oh, him! I don't owe that two copper thief, well, two coppers. If he can't guard his own share, it's his fault. Can you tell us where Leldon is? If you go to Leldon, you'll be placing yourselves, your lives in danger. Are you certain you wish to do this? Mm, not really, but... chance to show that we care about Nishka. That's free influence for us. If, she, if he's threatening Nishka, he's going to pay. Yeah, what she said. Very well, you can find his home here in the merchant quarter. I will mark it on your map. Be very careful. Not only is his estate patrolled by dogs, but I think he's placed certain warding enchantment against those with uh, your inheritance heritage. I think he was expecting you would return, Mishka, and he is ready for you. Maybe it'll be a challenge this time. Very well. Is there something else I can do to help you? Do you know what's going on in the Black Lake District? I have heard little, only that a nobleman was murdered, little else. Can you get me access there? No, the gates are close to me and many of the nobles that were caught outside cannot return to their homes either. There's one shopkeeper and the temple still here.
What is that? Some non marked location of some sort. Probably important later. I think this is where Kelgar wanted to come to learn how to be a monk. I'm not making him a monk. A warrior is much more, well, much better for what I want to use him for. Judge Ola. Oh uh, yes, I'm Reverend Judge Olaf Uskar. How can I help you? Are you all right? Yes, just a little distracted is all. When you came in, I thought it might be one of our priests returning, but... You have a priest missing. I sent him on the monthly rounds of the Tomb of the Betrayers here in Neverwinter. It has fallen to the Temple of Tear to safeguard the tomb in the interest of justice. The Tomb of the Betrayers? That place is sealed off by the Priest of Tear. It's really hard to break into. Every thief in the city is eager to crack that tomb. I mean, which is shameful. One should respect the dead, let them sleep, even with valuables. Sounds worth our while to get into. I'll say, if this guy holds the key. But, uh, anyway, so your priest went in there? To make sure the riches are still there, uh, all safe and untouched. We are only permitted by our vows to enter the tombs at dawn once a month, and not leave until dusk the next day. Yet the priest I sent has not returned. I could find him for you, make sure he's safe. Mm, you are not bound by our vows, but... There has been mention of disturbances in the tombs. I cannot guarantee your safety. If I allow you access to the tombs, I must have your promise that you will not disturb the crypts. Oh sure, nothing to worry about. We'll swear to whoever you want. Those crypts are in safe hands. This is this is yeah this is a weird thing. I I, I recall this. You can swear to not disturb the crypts and mean it, and naturally make a promise without actually having any intention of giving it. The thing is, because the game can't actually force you to not visit the crypts later, it's much more chaotic of an action to actually swear not to go there here and then and then go afterwards than it is to just lie with the promise and then go afterwards. But I think I'll lie because I have no intention of keeping the promise. I will allow you access to the tomes then and I shall mark its location on your map. I shall send a priest of tear to unlock it for you but make haste and be careful, the Tomb of the Betrayers has always had tales told about it. Many believe it haunted. Please return here when you have found our priest. It will set my mind at ease to know he is safe. Can you tell me about the Tomb of Betrayers? It is there who, it is where those who have turned a Neverwinter are buried, whether during the war with Luskin or for other crimes. We originally kept the place sealed to protect it from those that would defile the crypts and for other reasons. But those same seals have often tempted robbers and thieves. I hope our priest has not run across any of them. I doubt it. We're all out here. Could, Could robbers have followed him in? It is possible, but difficult. Once past the seals, there is a locking mechanism in the dungeon. On entering, the priest seals the door behind him. Hmm. 
My friend wants to join your order. Yes, he should ask prior of farm. H L I A M H L A M Higher Lamb Lamb or Ham how is it say okay Prior Ham he is one handling those who wish to join the even handed Anything for sale Grass hammer. These are all very cheap items. I don't think these are of any interest to us. This is amulet of health. I'd rather wait and buy an actual amulet of health. Gem of brightness. Deafness. Blightness, blightness and deafness, single use. Light, sunbeam. We'll hold down to the loot. I mean, as long as we can drop this crap on sand, we're gonna keep doing it. Welcome, do you seek an audience? Why the nine hells we do? I'm looking to sign up. Do you wish to join the disciples of Tyr? If that's what you call those skinny twigs who threw me out the window with the dragon's talon, then yes. Can you help Kelgar? It is odd that any of the even handed would seek our battle. Seek out battle. Like most of our fate, they usually only respond when provoked and rarely violently. Well, I may have stirred things up a bit, just a little, but that fight taught me some things, and I want to learn more about our faith. No, no, no! Fighting is the only religion me for me. I want to learn to fight like them and learn how they were able to beat me so easily. If you were defeated, such a defeat must have been just. Tyr, Tyr teaches us this. Your loss was meant to reveal a truth. Truth? The truth is that they beat me like a half-clan will, and I want to know how they did it. And if you seek to learn from your loss, then you must discover why you were so easily defeated. I don't think you're hearing the words coming out of my mouth. That's why I'm here to learn. But we cannot help you. Is that so? Well, maybe I'll help clean the floors in here with your face. Will that change your mind? Wait, surely there must be some way you can learn. Fear puts all who come to him for help on trial. He judges who is worthy and who is not. All right, sounds fair to me. Tyr wants bears fighting for him, not mewling little cubs. So what is this trial? Burning coals? Drinking contest? What? The path of Tyr is that of the maimed, the even-handed, and the just. So are the trials. Tell me about the trial of the maimed. The trial of the maimed requires that the petitioner face those he has wounded, usually those of his bloodline or clan. <clears throat> Never turned a blade against my clan, I haven't. If I knew where some of them were, you could even ask them. Only when one understands how their actions may hurt another, inadvertently or not, can he truly understand himself. Okay, the trial of the even-handed. The trial of the even-handed requires that the petitioner learn to see all around him in an equal light, without the trappings of prejudice. Prejudiced? I am not prejudiced. By the nine hills, I even travel with a backstabbing tiefling of all things, and you know how her kind are. 
Without such perspective, there can be no justice. For you have passed judgment before you even know those around you. Uh, how can one be made to see? Often the best way is to learn through those one travels with. When a petitioner understands someone he travels with, then he will learn to see fairly others he meets for the first time. A trial of justice. The fight is not enough. To fight for a cause, that is where strength lies. When you fight for a higher purpose, something beyond the self, you will find that you gain strength through your actions and become impossible to defeat. I've heard enough of these trials. Uh, agreed. Now where do I go to meet these tests? I cannot answer that for you. Each petitioner is challenged depending on their own path, not at a moment of our choosing. All I know is that you have not faced the trials yet. They are yet to come. This is ridiculous. I've heard enough. Cast out a dwarf, will you? Who needs you? Very well. When you have faced the trials, then seek me out, Kelgar of the clan Iron Fist. My interest in doing asking about these trials would be to perhaps gain influence with the Kilgar, not a, actually make them a Help him try to achieve what he wants. Tomb of the Betrayers. Leldon's hideout, so new sites popping up. What I'm going to do though is just talk to this guy and we must call it a day. Um, we'll go after something. Forge fire. 32,000 for a war a light hammer, not a war hammer. Plus two and fire damage. Ooh. Rod of Ghost, it does not have yeah, one use per day. I think we can use this even if we have uh, Illusion as Forbidden School. Blue Diamond. Lantern of Revealing, 57,000. Unlimited uses in the Invisibility Purge. Crafting Materials. Mm -hmm. Wand of Arcane Junction. Rod of Goals is something interesting because it's. I think it's a usable by everyone. And it would gain us access to an illusion spell that we are currently relying heavily to stay alive. If we go Red Wizard, this would probably keep us alive until we get access to Stone Skin. Uh, there's no prerequisites. Hmm. Find it. It's uh, mind mildly useful now, but once we go Red Wizard, it's probably somewhat useful at least. Okay, are we gonna do the Nishka's jobs, Eleni's jobs, or Tomb of the Betrayers? Maybe Eleni's. Do we have a target to go after? Sky Mirror. 
Yep. I think we're gonna go wrap up that. Then trying to do as many of these. Well, we can do niche cars. And then go to the harbor to aid with the watch business. That sounds like a plan. No. Probably better if we go to the tomb of betrayers. It's a tomb, so undead. We're fa we faced undead a couple of times already, and we didn't have too many problems with them. Could get as much needed experience and loot. Would be Eleni, Nishkas, and Betrayers. Three quests. Probably enough to get the level up. And fourth level spell. 